Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to our live uh, daily market outlook. Uh, today is Friday, 7th of uh, December 2012, uh, uh, last day of the week, and of course, release of uh, our key release uh, for to this week, the U.S. Uh, non-farm uh, uh, payrolls with the turbulent uh, markets uh, after yesterday's uh, comments and announcements from uh, European uh, Central Bank and the euro uh, losing traction against uh, U.S. dollar uh, more action is uh, seen expected uh, for today. The single current currency uh, lost uh, reached basically one uh, week lows against the uh, dollar, uh, suffering from the major uh, setback uh, uh, that uh, started uh, yesterday when the European uh, Central Bank uh, uh, released its bleak outlook uh, for the eurozone and uh, spoke of uh, possibly turning interest rates uh, negative. Uh, basically, this was the main uh, trigger. Uh, uh, of uh, the move as a uh, negative uh, reaction was uh, uh, seen on the wide discussion over the rate cuts. Uh, uh, well, also the President uh, Draghi said that uh, the ECB is operationally ready for a negative uh, rates. Uh, also, the Draghi commented, uh, said that uh, policymakers uh, talked about cutting its uh, main 0.75% uh, uh, policy rate before opting to leave it on hold even as it uh, slashed forecasts uh, for the growth. Uh, the uh, ECB has also touched uh, the idea of uh, cutting its deposit rates into the negative uh, territory. As a result, the single currency uh, initially lost 131 and then psychological uh, 130 support, uh, uh, dipping as low as uh, 129.30 this uh, morning with the negative tone and bears now dominating in the uh, near-term uh, structure, uh, awaiting a release of uh, U.S. Uh, data. The expectations for the U.S. non-farm payrolls are uh, uh, quite pessimistic as uh, most likely there will be further uh, uh, contraction in the jobs uh, uh, due to super storm, uh, storm Sandy, uh, Sandy that hit uh, uh, the United States recently and they would likely dent the U.S. employment uh, uh, growth in November uh, uh, temporarily, to temporarily also as interrupt a recently established uh, trend uh, of modestly rising uh, uh, payrolls. Uh, the non-farm payrolls uh, is uh, forecast uh, to have uh, increased today by, I think, 93,000 uh, 93, uh, uh, jobs uh, uh, last month, uh, after advancing uh, by 171,000 uh, uh, in October. Uh, this was according to the surveys and polls. With the November's anticipated uh, job uh, uh, count uh, would be smallest in the five months. months uh, and uh, of course, economists uh, expect uh, the the slowdown uh, will also reflect uh, the effect of the late October uh, uh, storm, which uh, battered the uh, densely populated the east coast of uh, United uh, States. Uh, states and uh, uh, probably snapback is expected uh, again in uh, uh, December. Uh, some comments, of course, uh, saying that uh, Sandy is going to depress uh, payroll employment uh, growth in November, but expectations is uh, to rebound in December. This is. Uh, what I said, these are the comments, of, of course, of uh, uh, some uh, analysts. As uh, we said, uh, the, the main uh, driver of the market was yesterday's uh, ECB release uh, that uh, gave quite a grim outlook uh, for 2013. Uh, we spoke about this in uh, several uh, sessions, and I mentioned that uh, there is uh, nothing optimistic currently in the outlook uh, for the near term, uh, near future for the Eurozone and uh, for the world economies. Uh, uh, together with another uh, uh, problem that is uh, looming above the current situation, the uh, U.S. Uh, fiscal cliff, uh, with the little uh, to show after a month of uh, meeting, the White House uh, and the Republicans in Congress uh, dropped some hints yesterday that uh, they had resumed uh, low-level private talks on breaking the statement uh, over the fiscal cliff, but uh, there was uh, so far uh, no uh, more details about this. The day after a conversation, a phone conversation between uh, President Obama and uh, uh, John Banner, the Republican uh, Speaker of the House of uh, Representatives, appeared to kickstart uh, communications uh, and both sides used similar language to describe the state of uh, negotiations uh, but imposed the media uh, blackout on uh, developments. Uh, uh, the good sign at at least some hints uh, showing that uh, they are f trying uh, to find the common uh, language and uh, move from currently dead end uh, where they ended uh, on the quite uh, opposite uh, uh, outlook for the solving of the fiscal cliff with President Obama of course uh, uh, pushing the uh, 
a scenario of uh, taxing also the wealthiest in America that is uh, having a strong opposition on the other side, hoping that uh, some uh, a workable solution will be fine. Uh, otherwise, uh, we said in the previous sessions that uh, quite uh, a negative impact and a bad impact uh, will be seen on uh, uh, triggering uh, <clears throat> the 600, uh, 600 billion uh, tax cuts and the spending of uh, uh, public uh, spending, uh, cutting of public spending. Pardon, uh, that will uh, trigger uh, United States uh, deeper into recession. Uh, from uh, today's calendar, as we said, uh, the most important uh, release, of course, is the. U.S. non-farm payrolls, but we're going to take a look at some other things, uh, proudly presenting our uh, new design, the calendar, that is uh, much better than the old one, and I hope we are not going to have any uh, problem anymore. The trade balance uh, from uh, uh, Australia and uh, France came out so far uh, with the data, important data to come, uh, manufacturing production from uh, U.K., at 930 GMT uh, forecast is minus 0.1 uh, percent uh, compared to a positive plus 0.1 uh, percent uh, seen in the month of uh, uh, September. Uh, industrial production is expected to improve by 0.9 percent compared to a uh, draw of um, 1.7 percent in uh, September. Uh, President uh, ECB President Mario Draghi is due to speak at uh, 10 o'clock uh, GMT. Uh, German industrial production uh, is due at 11, uh, slight improvement as today's forecast is minus 0.4 compared to minus uh, uh, 1.8 in the month of uh, September. And then uh, the key releases at 1330 US uh, non-farm uh, payrolls, as we said, uh, our forecast is uh, 91, approximately it's around uh, 90,000 uh, uh, new jobs compared to quite uh, much better uh, release of the previous uh, month at 171, uh, we said that uh, this is due to mainly due to the uh, storm uh, that hit the states during the past month and of course uh, uh, triggered the uh, less uh, jobs and employment uh, change is uh, going uh, pardon unemployment rate in the united states according to forecast is expected to stay unchanged at 7.9 percent uh, well canadian uh, data showing uh, unemployment rate again uh, unchanged at 7.4 percent uh, employment change uh, showing a uh, uh, adding 4.7 thousand uh, jobs compared to 1.8 thousand in uh, October. And then uh, finally the releases of uh, at the end of the day US uh, uh, University of uh, Michigan uh, sentiment, consumer sentiment that is uh, according to the forecast in December is uh, expected to, to decrease slightly 82.1 is the uh, consensus compared to 82.7 of uh, the release uh, for November and that uh, uh, will be all for today. Of course, the main focus remains on the U.S. non-farm payrolls data, and uh, most of uh, investors are in sitting and waiting mode uh, to see. Although markets are uh, still uh, quite active, that uh, we will see in our uh, technical uh, outlook uh, that follows, uh, showing the euro on the hourly chart uh, a strong reversal of 131.25 two days ago high, uh, with the a lower top at uh, 130.85 on the brief uh, break on the break below 131 as psychological support uh, confirmed the failure swing and the acceleration through uh, 131 and then 130.00 dipped as low as uh, uh, 129.49 this was the yesterday's uh, low where the brief uh, uh, consolidation occurred ahead of uh, fresh weakness this morning down to 129.28 uh, Fibonacci levels uh, initially the 38.2 uh, percent uh, Retracement at uh, 129.47 held the yesterday's uh, losses uh, with the subsequent uh, uh, brief uh, consolidation being short-lived ahead of uh, fresh weakness. Uh, negative uh, tone that is now uh, firmly established on the four-hour chart. That is our uh, uh, indicator for the near-term uh, movements. Uh, sees, uh, of course, the downside uh, favored uh, with immediate uh, support at uh, 129.00 as a round figure uh, support. This also uh, marks uh, approximately, let's just take a look, uh, 128.91 is the four hour uh, uh, Ichimoku ch chart uh, base. So we are looking for 129 initially and of course 128.80, uh, this is the zone of 128.80, 129 that is seen as the next uh, target uh, as the losses are accelerating again on the uh, the beginning of uh, European session. The 50% retracement at uh, 128.93 and the higher low of uh, 28th of November and 128.79 uh, seen as the next uh, 
uh, downside targets with bulls now taking a uh, full uh, control on the near term uh, structure uh, keeping the downside uh, favored uh, for now uh, it's uh, important also to mention uh, about um, the daily structure as the indicators uh, the RSI and the stochastic are now in the descending mode of the from the overbought uh, uh, territory uh, increased risk is seen on the formation of uh, triple top uh, on the daily chart uh, we have tops at uh, 31, 31, 70, 31, 38, and uh, 131, 25. Uh, that will be confirmed, of course, requires confirmation on the break uh, uh, somewhere below 128. Uh, these are the previous uh, lows and the uh, main uh, bull trend line uh, drawn of uh, 120, 42 yearly low. Uh, that will be quite uh, significant uh, uh, signal in case of uh, losing 128, that uh, then uh, a fully negative tone will be established on the a single currency and uh, confirm the triple top. Uh, back to the near term uh, action, uh, the immediate resistance now lies at uh, 128.50, this is yesterday's uh, uh, low and the corrective overnight uh, consolidative corrective action uh, at 129.71 while uh, uh, 130.00 offers initial uh, uh, barrier uh, reinforced uh, by uh, descending uh, 55 days exponential moving average and then we have the uh, yesterday's uh, intraday's intraday lows at uh, 130.41. Uh, anyway, any any corrective action is seen uh, limited uh, by 130. I would say 130.40 at uh, this moment. While uh, any improvement requires break above uh, uh, yesterday's high at uh, 130.85, that will reintroduce uh, upper barriers. At this moment, this is quite unlikely as uh, bears are uh, firmly in play. Of course, uh, a lot depends on the release of uh, U.S. Uh, jobless. Uh, US uh, pardon jobs data that uh, will uh, give the fresh uh, uh, direction for most of the markets uh, sterling also lost <coughs> pardon uh, traction after uh, a repeated rally and attempt at uh, 16129 this is the previous peak of uh, 4th of December failed uh, at just two ticks below at 16127 uh, as we can see on the ADX studies bears are uh, uh, firmly in play a loss of initial uh, support at uh, approximately 16080 and a more significant one at uh, 160.50 previous uh, congestion uh, triple top uh, uh, has so far seen uh, one at 60.34 uh, with the break of uh, below the bull trend line uh, of uh, lows at uh, 158.40 uh, uh, zone and uh, now keeping a uh, more focus towards the downside four hour indicators are building up a negative uh, momentum and the uh, MACD is uh, breaking uh, below the midline while all other indicators are pointing uh, lower that of course uh, leaves uh, uh, more sees more space uh, for further extension lower and we have uh, significant support at uh, 160 zone 160.13 is the 38.2 percent uh, Fibonacci retracement of the entire rally from uh, 158.26 to 161.29 and then comes uh, 160.00 as uh, around figure support and close to this is the uh, higher low of uh, 30th of December at uh, approximately 159. 87 and 159, 80, 50 percent retracements. This uh, would be 161, uh, 58, uh, pardon, 159, 80 is uh, seen as the next uh, downside uh, target. A certain negative uh, tone now dominates on the four hour while uh, uh, quite extended hourly uh, see potentially yet no any signal of reversal. See potential for a, a brief pause in the current uh, descent, uh, but overall uh, picture is now turned uh, negative in the near term and the uh, uh, keeps the downside favor upside the barrier at the broken trend line at uh, 160 64 and the uh, previous uh, uh, range uh, floor at approximately 160 are seen uh, uh, capping any stronger uh, corrective uh, action and basically an only break above uh, 160 80 uh, would uh, refocus uh, the upper uh, barriers uh, day structure on the sterling is uh, uh, slightly positive but uh, most of indicators are uh, now pointing lower and this is uh, also indicative as uh, the price again uh, returns uh, uh, below the main bear trend line drawn of uh, 163.08 that uh, uh, keeps the near term uh, uh, focus at the downside uh, supports and as said uh, 160.00 and 159.80 are seen on the downside as initial uh, uh, targets of course break uh, below 159.80 that marks half of the uh, rally from 158.26 uh, uh, could be another additional uh, pressure for uh, 
uh, further uh, retracement of that uh, of the rally from 158.26 low of 15th of November to uh, 161.29 peak of uh, 4th of December 2012. Uh, not much to say about uh, dollar yen as the pair remains entrenched within the range of uh, 8170 and 8283 uh, rather flat and uh, neutral uh, near term studies uh, see uh, currently no direction uh, most likely some influence from outside uh, by fundamentals or news is uh, uh, required now to uh, move the pair and uh, basically to give the fresh direction uh, we have the initial uh, levels on the upside 82, 83 and 83, zero, zero seen basically as a, a break point uh, for extension of the larger uh, uh, uptrend uh, from a 79.06 low of uh, mid-September and the resumption higher to open uh, uh, levels uh, above 83 uh, while on the downside the uh, loss of 81.70 recent range uh, floor is uh, seen as a trigger for a deeper correction of uh, the latest up leg from 79.06 to 82.83 with the 81.39 seen immediately on a break 38.2 percent retracement on the upside as we said we have 83 a break above 83 to open 83.29 this is April 2012 high and then yearly peaks at 84.808.84.17 posted in March 2012 as seen on a break above uh, above 8300. Uh, daily structure is uh, uh, quite extended, the uh, indicators on the daily uh, uh, chart. Uh, I would say at this point, uh, seeing uh, see increased risk of uh, a stronger re reversal, of course, a uh, break uh, below 8170 uh, as initial support is seen as a uh, initial uh, signal and trigger for uh, some stronger uh, corrective action. And the dollar Swiss emerges out of the dangerous uh, territory and averts immediate uh, downside risk of retesting uh, 92.13 our key uh, near term uh, support. This is low of uh, 17th of October on yesterday's uh, fresh and strong uh, rally through uh, 93.00. This was initial uh, barrier uh, also uh, descending a 55 days exponential uh, moving average that capped uh, uh, the upside uh, during the past uh, week or so with the break above this and the more important uh, 93.39 previous high of uh, 28th of November and the 38.2 percent Fibonacci retracement of the down leg from uh, uh, 95.11 to 93.39 uh, with 93.55 seen so far uh, averting immediate downside risk as I said an opening way for some uh, stronger uh, a corrective action and uh, next uh, upside target uh, stands at uh, 93.75 this is 50 percent uh, retracement with the uh, bullish uh, structure seen on the four hour chart despite the uh, approaching overbought uh, territory seeing a uh, potential for a test of uh, this level and a more significant uh, 94.00 where we have today around figure uh, resistance 61.8 uh, percent retracement of the down leg and of course it's uh, a 200 days uh, moving average currently at uh, 94.20 basically break above uh, these levels is uh, required to uh, signal uh, fresh uh, strength and uh, possible uh, return up to the recent uh, uh, range uh, tops at uh, 95.11 as we can see on the daily chart basically the the pair is still entrenched within the range of 92.13 uh, and the 95.11 consolidating the uh, stronger uh, fall from 99.70 uh, high of 24th of uh, July uh, as uh, current bounces still could be seen as uh, corrective as daily indicators are still uh, uh, I would say in the negative uh, territory but all pointing higher uh, seeing potential for some corrective action of course break above 94 94 20 is required uh, to confirm this uh, uh, notion otherwise uh, could be uh, this uh, could be seen as just a corrective uh, action and risking a lower top ahead of uh, a fresh reversal near term uh, said uh, tone is uh, positive and keeps the upside uh, favored with the uh, 9375 and the key uh, barrier set uh, 94 94 20 seen in the near term focus uh, while on the downside immediate support uh, 9315 this is the uh, overnight uh, consolidation uh, uh, low and then uh, 9300 previous uh, peaks now reverted uh, to uh, support and uh, should uh, also reinforced by ascending 55 days moving average on the one hour chart and should uh, contain any stronger dips in order to keep the near term bullish structure intact uh, for possible test of uh, 
our upside targets 9375 and uh, and 9400 uh, that's all from currencies uh, uh, let's take a look on the gold that is in a brief uh, uh, corrective action of uh, fresh lows at 16 uh, 84 and 85 attempting to build the base actually in the near uh, term as uh, the price regains uh, 1700 as uh, uh, referent uh, uh, resistance initial uh, resistance uh, but uh, uh, so far uh, uh, hourly uh, studies uh, start to point uh, lower uh, it's uh, now at uh, attacking the uh, attempting basically the bullish crossover of uh, 20 over 55 days exponential moving average that uh, should uh, hold uh, the downside in order to uh, provide some uh, stronger uh, recovery action on the four hour uh, chart the negative tone is still uh, dominating uh, though the indicators are slightly uh, in the uh, sub part pardon some of indicators are uh, uh, pointing higher while the RSI and the uh, uh, momentum started the rate of change also started uh, to point lower uh, seeing not much potential at uh, this uh, point for some uh, a stronger recovery. Basically, we need to see the regain of uh, 17, 10, 17, uh, uh, 1708, 17, levels, uh, previous uh, lows, and uh, where is also the uh, 55 days exponential moving average on the four hour chart in order to uh, signal some uh, stronger uh, uh, corrective action and uh, prevent the pair from further sliding. Otherwise, uh, uh, we break above 170506 as initial. Uh, as seen as a trigger otherwise uh, risk remains at the downside as uh, a failure to regain uh, these levels uh, would risk a lower top and the fresh extension lower uh, we already have uh, levels that we are looking for the previous lows at uh, 16 uh, uh, pardon 1687 Fibonacci expansion of uh, uh, the latest downlet from 1752 and then uh, roll lows at 1684 loss of which to open uh, our key support uh, at 1672 low of uh, 5th of uh, November 2012 and the uh, 61.8% Fibonacci expansion uh, that is seen as the, our uh, near term uh, target with the daily uh, structure still uh, holding the negative uh, uh, tone uh, despite uh, uh, a reversal attempt seen on the stochastic uh, uh, more focus at this point is seen towards the downside as uh, current uh, move uh, would be described as uh, consolidative corrective as long as uh, uh, initial uh, barriers at 1710, 1712 uh, hold, uh, uh, stay intact. Otherwise, uh, break above here uh, could be a signal for some uh, more significant uh, corrective action and open uh, important uh, barriers at 1722 and 1731, regain of which is uh, basically required to shift focus higher. Otherwise, uh, any any rejection uh, below 1710 is uh, seen as uh, risk of lower top and a fresh attack uh, towards our uh, recent lows at 1684 and the 1685 and finally the crude oil negative uh, structure uh, is now being confirmed on the denting uh, of uh, uh, channel support at uh, 8586 I think yesterday in the written technical analysis I mentioned that uh, uh, the price is poised to, to test uh, this level and uh, basically it happened uh, uh, then think it uh, dipping down to 85 uh, 67 just below 76 uh, just above pardon 76 point four percent retracement uh, of uh, the uplink from 8405 to 9031 uh, with bounce higher uh, regaining uh, levels above holding steady this morning above 8600 a negative uh, tone on the four hour chart uh, with uh, uh, some uh, reversal attempt uh, still uh, unclear and more outside this uh, point uh, more focus is still seen towards the downside uh, uh, on the four hour uh, indicators while hourly structure is uh, gaining some traction on the recent uh, bounce that is not that significant uh, to improve the overall uh, negative uh, structure of 1931 uh, with Fibonacci levels uh, seen as uh, barriers uh, even initial 186.80 hasn't been reached 23.6 and uh, we have more significant 8750 uh, previous lows and the uh, uh, thirty-eight point two percent retracement minimum or uh, regain of minimum this level eighty-seven fifty is required to avert immediate uh, downside risk. Basically, the main risk is seen on the clear break below the range uh, floor and the recent lows at eighty-five thirty-five as the pr price approached it on eighty-five sixty-seven. Uh, that would uh, uh, probably signal end of uh, uh, corrective consolidative action of eighty-four. 
uh, 0.5 and the refocus uh, the downside the levels uh, uh, the nice recent uh, base of uh, the strong uh, uh, descent from uh, 172 mid September peak uh, down to 84 uh, 05 low of uh, 7th of November 2012 uh, un uh, unable to break uh, our initial uh, barrier at uh, 90, 90 00 and 9040.38.2% uh, uh, of uh, 172 to 94.05 still keeps the downside vulnerable and of course the negative tone has been confirmed now on the uh, sharp reversal uh, from 1931 where the gains uh, were uh, limited by the channel uh, resistance uh, uh, losing all relevant uh, uh, supports and uh, dipping uh, slightly below the, trend, the channel support that could uh, uh, be seen as risk of uh, further weakness as said uh, uh, failure to regain uh, 8750 as initial uh, uh, barrier uh, could uh, keep the increased uh, downside risk uh, as a break below 85, uh, 67, 85, 35 and of course around figure 8500 would uh, uh, shift focus down towards uh, key support at 8405 low of uh, 7th of November 2012 and uh, I think I spoke a lot that was all uh, from me please uh, prepare your questions say if you have any question any request you can uh, submit it now and I'll be glad uh, to answer Oh, it seems that uh, we don't have uh, questions uh, for Friday. Okay, uh, I hope we covered all uh, important uh, points uh, for today. Of course, the main focus uh, remains on the release of uh, U.S. non-farm payrolls with the quite uh, negative uh, uh, forecast uh, seen uh, due to the uh, recent uh, hurricane that hit the U.S. Uh, uh, east coast. And of course, this is going to, of course, affect the. Uh, jobs uh, market. Keep an eye on uh, the markets on uh, these uh, releases. Uh, I wish you a nice uh, Friday, uh, of course the last day of the week. Uh, uh, good and profitable trading and of course I wish you a nice uh, and relaxing weekend and uh, we are back uh, next Monday at our uh, standard time at uh, 8 o'clock uh, GMT. All of you that connected later you can find a recorded version of uh, this uh, session in the YouTube. Our page is called uh, Windsor Brokers uh, Forex. Wish you a nice day again and uh, uh, we will talk uh, back, uh, we'll be back on uh, Monday.